Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel learning for fun and I know it has been a long time there were no videos being uploaded but here I am back with uh, another uh, video on life management. So far we had uh, seen certain tools we had tried to understand how important it is to know oneself in order to manage one's life. We had discussed upon certain tools like Johari Window, SWOT Analysis and Ecomaps. We have seen the, all these tools beforehand. And in today's video, I will be sharing another tool, which is Sociogram. Now, when you manage your life, one thing which is important is the way you are thinking about your own self. So it requires an exploration into your own self, which can be done using the tools that I had shared in the earlier videos. So if you have not watched those videos, you can go back to the playlist and you can take a look at the videos that I have made on SWOT analysis, I have made on eco maps, I have made it on uh, Johari window, certain tools that can help you to explore your own self. And if you find this video to be helpful for yourself, for, your, for the management of your life, you can give it a thumbs up. So like this video, if you find it to be um, something new and something that you can implement upon. And if you really want to see such videos further, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So here I have taken this from the internet. I did not try to construct any sociogram over here, but then what exactly is a sociogram is basically how people associate with each other. So what are their preferences like? Who do they really like to talk to? That is what a sociogram is like. For example, if you pay attention to the left figure, there are certain <clears throat> individuals present here. Okay, so their names are written. And uh, just for the purpose of classification, the girls are in this purple shade rectangles and the names of the boys, they are in the ovals of orange. Now, how do they communicate or what are their preferences? The direction of the arrows are telling you that. So say, for example, if you are just examining Lisa as a person, she is interested in talking to Sam and Tyla and Lucy. Okay. Similarly, if we talk about Sam, Sam is interested in talking to James. James is interested in talking with Sam. Sam is interested in talking with Ben and that's a reciprocal relationship that we see. And then Sam is also interested in talking with Milo. However, when it comes to Oscar talking to Sam, that's a preference which is one-sided. Or Lisa trying to talk to Sam, that is a preference which is one-sided. And these preferences can actually vary from event to event and from situation to situation. So maybe upon a given uh, situation, say you have to discuss something about your personal life, who will you be talking to? There can be a different kind of sociogram present. And another situation, say, whom will you like to go out with uh, for an outing or uh, for a movie? And that way, the preferences can be different. Okay, so uh, sociogram will help you to understand a given context and to whom the people really feel free to communicate or to whom will they really want to associate. There are different forms of sociogram. One of that is presented over here. And the uh, from this sociogram, simply we can see the direction of preference. But however, uh, further relationships can also be presented uh, using different types of arrows. So I hope you got an insight into what sociogram is and how it can be utilized for the purpose of uh, managing your life understanding how many people really want to associate with you in a given context. 
so if this is a situation i would want to associate with the other person because i find that person may be knowledgeable i am affiliated to that person i am drawn to that person or i trust that person it can differ from situation to situation however if you are applying sociogram in the skill of life management perhaps you will understand your own um contacts you will understand your own behavior as to why do you want to or who are the people with whom you really want to share certain details of your life or who can be the possible people who would be talking to you so if you are really able to construct a sociogram keeping up certain critical situations in mind perhaps that is where you will be able to manage your life in a much better manner so i hope you got an insight into what sociogram is and you find this tool interesting to understand your own life and you feel that it can be implemented to manage your life in a better way give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel in case you wish to know such tools further we will be moving into other areas of life management pretty soon but initially i wanted to talk about the different tools which i know if you have got any comments or suggestions feel free to put it up in uh, the comment section you can um, write to me personally in case if there are any doubts my email id is down in the description and i'll be happy to respond to any of your queries thank you and have a great time ahead